Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today we're gonna be actually doing a different type of video because we're gonna be analyzing the game of uh, something other than me apparently so we're gonna be looking at the game of uh, the uh, guy at the top of the screen which is called King of Boom Arena so Basically, recently there was a uh, tournament on a new official Discord server of Boom Arena and I was participating in it and uh, uh, King of Boom Arena was actually hosting it, so I'm he played like 3 games in it, uh, definitely wasn't competing for the first place, but I'm gonna still cover his games because many people were uh, kinda interested if... Uh, if new uh, kind of a uh, community manager, or uh, if I can say that, is actually good at the game. Actually, a good chunk of the game already have passed, and King of Boom Arena definitely has a very strong advantage going it. I believe the game was kind of uh, started with some bird spam play. He kind of took the advantage of uh, mistakes made by the player in the bottom, which is Emma Damo, and right now. Emma Damo is just in a very tough spot, he'll have to uh, make some very clutch moves to come back to this game. Uh, right now, like you can see, he's just playing twins at the bridge, and King of Boom Arena pretty much will sacrifice the damage. I wouldn't say is it best move, but at the same time he could have... Yeah, yeah. I was about to say he could have not have uh, like the best response on hand, but... Yeah, th this flying robot was definitely not a right play. Also, not playing Fifth uh, in the back for it to let it like a uh, to dash onto the steel hammer was definitely a mistake because right now this Fifth will just have uh, less HP and this gunner, uh, yeah, it would survive anyway. I think obviously gunner good response to a flying robot, but King of Pumarina right now has a very comfortable uh, position. And since Madamo is just playing machine gun on his side of the board, it's like wasting 6 mana, while he should be just focusing on attacking the King of Boom Arena's tower. Also, this flying bomb was definitely a mistake. At this point, when you're behind, you shouldn't be uh, trying to uh, afford spells. Uh, these bomb blasters pretty much have no purpose at all. Like, I would say so far King of Boom Arena is just not impressing me with his defensive resources. So far, I believe he only just like got pretty lucky with uh, getting first tower, and then the game was just very sloppy. Like these twins, I believe will even connect or just barely not because he is just overpowered and stuff. And yeah, he's just barely hanging onto the tower. So oh, sorry for my screen block. Sometimes it happens during recording. I'm gonna apologize in advance. So. First game, I would say very shaky and definitely not deserve to win for him. The mistakes were made from both sides. Right now, King of Boomerang is on the bottom side and he's just receiving a beating from this Dark Knight phone cake combo, which was basically 10 mana at the bridge without any resorts and he's losing a tower, so definitely not the best play of him. He's up against Tagation, who has zero medals. We'd expect in this tournament there was uh, many players that were kind of new to the game, uh, which kind of resulted in very uh, interesting and unbalanced games. Right now this T-Rex was absolute blunder, and that kind of brings the King of Boom Arena to the game. Uh, the good thing about him is that he kind of knows how to punish his opponent uh, when he's winning but he absolutely has no idea what to play when he's kinda even or uh, behind uh, in the position. So, he's playing helicopter against machine which I don't think is too bad of a play, but then he plays uh, moon blasters that retreat to the machine gun and then go for the viking, like, very all over the place plays, I would say. Also, like, Tagishin didn't uh, address the helicopter, so I would say another messy game and They've said, I believe like King of Morina is way better at attacking than defending, which is pretty much the case for most players in this game. And right now we're gonna just jump to the game number three. Uh, Nika Carter will be his opponent in the bottom King of Morina. Once again at the top, he's gonna start with Ghost and Piercing Archer, which is, well, I would prefer to play just 
uh, ghost in this position just uh, make uh, my opponent decide what one how uh, does he want to react and right now he's gonna be facing necromancer so that's a huge tell if the player is good or not so basically if your opponent has a card that scales like asymmetrically like necromancer does you instantly don't want to like play a phone hordes uh, in positions that are vulnerable to the Necromancer to get the value. Another thing I've noticed about uh, the King of Boom Arena is his very bizarre deck. He has like many cards that are very cool with a bridge spawn archetype. So like you would expect him to run a Viking or a Dark Knight, which is usually a good uh, pick for a bridge spawn archetype. No, he, he plays Flying Robot and let me tell you that much, Flying Robot is absolutely uh, god-awful against Necromancer, so that's gonna be a very awful matchup for King of Boomerina. He also plays bullets and activates Viking Tower, definitely not the best play. He counter pushes with a Flying Robot and a and a Fawn Heart, which I think is a good play. Like, if your opponent gets too aggressive with two Dark Knights, you either want to just perfectly defend, but if you don't have resources, you have to counter push, so I agree with the call, but I don't agree with the execution. Right now these Dark Knights will just hammer through this Viking Tower. Uh, I, I really thought during watching this game that it's gonna be 3 star, but King of Marina realizes that he actually needs to defend this Dark Knight and he does, uh, leaving just barely enough uh, HP for his Viking Tower to hang on. And the Necromancer, as you could have seen, uh, was absolutely there to clean up the uh, flying robot and right now something I've said earlier you don't want to play a uh, phone heart in the position where it, it would be very vulnerable to the necromancer and yeah this mistake uh, has been made already this ghost will will fall as well so like Nika Carter right now with a fabulous pressure and flying robot definitely is not a correct call uh, to defend the Dark Knight, so right now just Nika will absolutely steamroll uh, through our King of Boomerina. He actually has not only Necromancer as a good response to a Flying Robot, but a Gunner and Fawn Hot as well, so that was just a steamroll. I don't think if I uh, have to comment anymore uh, on this game. Yeah, that, that was pretty much it, and yeah, I wouldn't say King of Boomerina is too solid at the game, but uh, he definitely has a potential if he puts uh, you work. So yeah, that's gonna be the video for today. And yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Let me know if you enjoyed this content. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena as always.